This episode of the Devin Way Show is brought to you by Ace the Engineer, the only other audio engineer I trust to mix the Devin Way Show. If you want your stuff to sound professional, make sure to hit up Ace the Engineer, unless he's with like Beyonce or Patti LaBelle or some shit like that at the moment. Follow Ace the Engineer on IG at Ace the Engineer. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of the Devil Way Show. I am your host, Dev Nasty, a.k.a. Dangerous Dev Nasty, a.k.a. Choke Your Mama, a.k.a. Choke Your Pop Out. And today, um, on, on the Devil Way Show, we do have a special guest, but we're going to get to him in a second. To the left of me. It's your boy, Pistols. Nah, it's like, I'm playing with you. It's <laughs> me. Let me stop. I ain't be ready to the cops here. Nah, it's Double P, your boy, man, Priority P. Listen, if you're going to prioritize something, prioritize me, motherfucker. Nah, but listen, seriously, pretzel P, y'all got me twisted. <laughs> Swimming pool P, all my P's is coming. Hey, listen, if you got any P recommendations, fuck what is in the chat. Tuesday nights at nine. <laughs> um, and all the way to the far left. <laughs> I was just so confused about Porter Rich. He was just coming at it very hard, talking about yeah. pistols. I got shook for a second. I got to red. I got to For real, like I'm like, what is going on? But y'all already know it's the girl Valeska D, the fashionista of the Devin Wade show. You know, I styled Richie today. You know, he got Heavy. his fear guy sweatsuit. Heavy. Well, sweatpants on. I had to tell him to right. leave the strings down. Yeah, she won't let me tie him. She he like a fucking. Him, she man. like a security guard. I had Monica do something. She's like, untie him. <laughs> shit. Untie the tie. Thank you very much. Y'all already know it's the girl. Um, and uh, I can't dress, and nobody helps me. So fuck them. <laughs> uh, but uh, today on the show, I, uh, we have another fellow artist. Uh, a lot of people that follow me know that I am a, a artist, drawing, design, and all that type of stuff. But we got somebody that is OG. more, more OG noteworthy, artists. more noteworthy <laughs> than me uh, from Philadelphia in the building. Let's give it up for I've Been Taki. Yo, yo, what's up, yo? What's going on? Heavy. What's good? What's good? Man, I'm blessed to be here. Thank you so much. Philadelphia artist, muralist, entrepreneur, you know, whatever you want to call it. He been getting bread, uh, throw, throwing all kind of uh, uh, events, uh, 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 probably illegal activity. But um, um, also, you always know we got our nasty girls over there. Uh, why is y'all uh, framing your breast? I was... I didn't know the camera was on me. Because they're day. coming soon in June. Coming, coming soon. Uh, she keeps advertising. Titties coming soon. Yeah, she said they going yeah. boom in June. <laughs> and Monica paid for them. You know Brady, I mean? Brady Kruger. You by mulattoes. Um, but you know, today we Brady you know, Cracker. We're gonna we gonna talk we're gonna talk some relationship stuff, man. And um is a question that we wanna definitely get into. Um, and I know our ladies is gonna wanna uh, uh talk about this. And you know, when you get with somebody, they're gonna have um strong you know, attributes and they're going to have weak attributes. And at the end of the day, we have to pick things for ourselves that are deal breakers when they can't, you know, live up to a certain thing, but they might be great at these other things. And one of the things that most people break up about that they call their deal breaker is when a, is infidelity. Mm. If a person is dealing with somebody um, outside of that relationship or whatever like that, um, a lot of times situations can be completely perfect other than that point. So what I wanted to talk about today was, can a woman or, and or man be a phenomenal partner, partner and be a cheater? Can a cheater be a good man? Absolutely. Can a cheater be a good woman? Absolutely. Oh, And I'm gonna tell you why though, because there's, you know, um, DJ Envy and his wife, Gia Casey, They've been on, you know, they just released their book. I'm not, we're not promoting their book, but they did just yeah, release I ain't the read, book. Yeah, I ain't read the shit, so. Yeah, but, I, ain't I heard about it, though. I, I heard well, about you heard it. about it, right? Yeah. So they have a podcast, too, called The Casey Crew. Shout out to that. I've been tuned in for a very long time. But they do bring up um, a part where Gia found out that MB cheated on her. And I think um, she said, 
she said on an interview that there were no red flags. There was like nothing in the relationship where she felt as though that she thought her man would cheat. Like when she heard, well, when she seen the news, she was very shocked. Like she just could, but she was like, "What?" Like I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Like she would have never thought in a million. She's like, "I would have never thought in a million years that Envy would have cheated on me." But like, but was it because she looked at him as a person? Because there's two things to this. Because she looked at him as a person that just wouldn't do that? Or do women sometimes, when they're with a man for a long time, they don't think they got it? And what I mean by that is, like, ain't no chicks paying them no attention. Nah, I think she legit, like, everything was good at home. Like, mm. you know, and I mean, See, granted, everybody got their shit. Right, everybody but, got their shit. But here's the thing. She knows him as whatever. What's his real name? Rashawn. She knows him as Rashawn. To the world and to hoes, he's DJ fucking Envy. You know That's what I'm saying? Fact. That's a fact. And when you got this alter ego... Of who you are, your family, your kids, your wife know you at as Rashawn. Mm -hmm. To the world, when he goes on tour, when he goes to to, to those clubs. events, those clubs mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and you got bitches throwing pussy at you, saying what's up to you, hugging you, saying what you doing after this and stuff like that. Ninety percent of the times, you were loving taking take care of your family type man and stuff like that. You gonna say, hey, listen, I'm married, I can't do that. That five percent, that you gonna say, I would if I could. Then it's that other five percent. You you going knee deep in that pussy. Damn. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad person, right? Oh, I'd never say he's probably yeah. an awesome person. That yeah. got nothing to do with wanting some new, different yams. But do you think it? So when it Real comes shit. to that, right? So when I was when they were all talking about it, because you know Charlamagne cheated on his wife too. So this is a whole conversation. God, she see she listen, hold on, listen, hold on, hold on. She got the, uh, she got the I got juice. To see. I got just to see. God, come on, man. No, no, just know. Man, what's in that cup? Listen, baby. <laughs> listen, baby, that baby, cup? baby at home, you already know. We good money out this motherfucker. <laughs> no, but like, they, they done cheated before. So this is, and you know, he he's talked about it as well, right? But he said something, and I quote him. He said that when he went to therapy, he realized like, he wasn't cheating just to like cheat. He was cheating, you know, to kind of like fill his ego. So feed like his ego. Mm -hmm. feed, mm -hmm. feed his ego. He feed his ego. He fed his ego of so who this some... character he made himself to be outside right. of the home. Mm. Right. Outside of the home, in the home, your dad, they could laugh at you, you could fart, you could, yep. you could walk around with your stomach hanging out and all that shit. <laughs> you can but fart once... too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fart with the hoes. <laughs> you fart with some hoes. They're gonna be like, hey, my man. It's too early for that. <laughs> They're gonna be like, you comfortable? <laughs> but if he's on a flyer and he's the main attraction for the night and you got 100, 300, 400 people coming to see you and stuff like that, you are larger than life. And some of them women will love to suck your dick at the end of the show. You know what I'm saying? And your wife is looking at you like, nigga, please. But that girl at the show like, please put it in my mouth. Right. So it's a different feeling when you got that going on versus what you got coming home to. So let me ask you. So let me ask you a question, right? So let's 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 separate DJ Envy and Charlamagne Cruz because they, you know, they're they're you know. Breakfast they, club out there yeah, wilding, y'all. Not they, the Devin Wade show. But so for for you, right? You are you married, single? With shit, with, with I'm shit? married. Yeah. Okay, you're married, right? So you in the industry that you're in, right? I wasn't yeah. You take pictures. Do I take pictures? Yeah. Yeah. Do you I take, take pictures. Okay. Do you paint people? Uh, paint. I paint pictures of people. people yes. Yep. Sound like Devin Wade. Keep do going. Do you paint on people? I do. I have painted on women. Yes. Okay. That don't now, sound let like me. Oh my God. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to be clear. <laughs> she said, you paint people? I have painted on women. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely ain't painting no motherfucking penises out there. <laughs> so when, when you, in that industry, uh -huh. do you have that same type of scenario that has happened to you? As, as far as painting on women? or No, no, no. In regards to like females coming. Being like, yo, paint this Wait, pussy. All right, so let me tell you something. <laughs> I may be an artist and stuff like that, but... Uh, what happens is women are not attracted to your profession. They're attracted to the lifestyle you are. It's like right. women attracted to drug dealers because the lifestyle that drug dealers give them. They don't care that they sell drugs. They just love the fact that these niggas have the freedom to do what the fuck they want, mm -hmm. spend how they want, mm -hmm. dress thorough, wear jewelry, and do nigga shit. You right. know what I mean? Women are attracted to that. They want to get a Celine bag. They want to get cut the line at the club. Certain they want to eat right. at the best restaurants. They mm -hmm. want to dress in Prada <laughs> shoes and shit like that. You know what I'm right. saying? So they don't really give a fuck what you do to do those things. But if you do those things, then you're a, you're the type of nigga I want. You know what I'm saying? But you have those instances where, right? Mm -hmm. You ever see? <laughs> I'm bringing up another like 
reality star mm-hmm. situation, but you have a situation where, say, your wife isn't into art, right? Okay. But you bring you meet another woman who's into it, right? Mm-hmm. And you're doing an art thing with her, but y'all creating this bond and connection. Mm-hmm. Has that ever happened where it's like, damn, like, this connection's crazy. I don't have this connection with this person, mm-hmm. but I have a connection with this person so in this me, regard. So for me, in the love aspect, opposites attract. So I mm-hmm. tend to like People that's not into the art world as mm. much mm. because opposites attract. Me, and my wife is into nursing and helping people with, uh, with uh, you know, nursing and right, right, right. the medical, you know, field. The right, medical right. field and all that stuff. So I'm attracted to her because of how she takes care of people. She has a loving nature and stuff. That's a woman that I want to uh, procreate with and right, love right, with right. and do the mm. cool family stuff with. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I still liked hoes. In that nature, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta use their words very precisely. This motherfucker, I still liked hoes at that particular time. We gonna date on it. We gonna timestamp that. Before that was I met her. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was very Yo. Well, no, in I'm that nature. Saying, I'm not saying now, but I'm just saying, like in, yes. in the industry, you've been in the industry for a while, right? We gonna keep it all the way a buck, okay? Yeah. Men love want a certain type of woman that they're gonna make kids with and be in love with and shit like that. But that don't mean we still don't like pussy holes and and the, and the, and the fucking thoughts. We still gonna look and and have fun too. But what about so no? What she talked about talking about it don't necessarily gotta be a thought because what how I could relate to this situation is in a past relationship. Uh, my, uh, past definitely, relationship. It, it was like she said. She said you painting and the person not being in the paint. My 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 old girl. She wasn't even from this fucking country she wasn't mm-hmm. from here she didn't give a fuck about rap mm-hmm. none of that type of shit where the other woman that i met was just like your biggest all fan. in the bar she knew every mixtape rapper read dollars everybody and looked at me in that way like nigga you supposed to be da 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 bar for Did bar that feed your ego yes it mm. made me feel it, it so I didn't at the time even look at it like it was feeding my ego because I wasn't thinking about it like I was trying to be that nigga. Mm-hmm. But what it did was it gave me the same confirmation that I would get from other people. Regular niggas that I would just meet that was just like, yo, you nice. But when you go home, your girl don't give a fuck about she comfortable when, when, with you, bro. when you that found shit. out she when you found out that you. baby girl was a fan though of like your shit and it kind of like you was like, oh shit. Did you change the way you fucked her? Um, uh, did you nah. feel like a lion? Did you fucking nah. like just like I appreciate you? Nah. I'm gonna give you better dick. <laughs> nah, because it was like that kind of from the beginning. She kind of found out that I did music and all that type of shit from the rip, and was one. She like an outspoken person that would basically be like, "I'm gonna tell you if you whack, nigga," because I I listen to this nigga Joey Jahad and all these pe- mm-hmm. type of people. So when she heard it, it was like confirmation for her. Like, oh shit, I got. I don't one need, of these rap But does niggas. it create a bond? Did it create a bond? It, crea- it created but a you bond. You know what's crazy yes. though? You can have chemistry with anybody and I'm going to say male and female too but like when it comes to the opposites attract sex is always going to get thrown in there because it's like we're opposite. I want to fuck you now. You know what I'm saying? But when I got chemistry with some of my homies I'm like yo man you a real nigga y'all fuck with you. I want to do business with you. Me and Dad got. Gonna fuck him. I'm not gonna fuck him, dude, bro. I'm Definitely just saying, not like, gonna fuck him. No, but I'm just saying. I'm just... <laughs> no, like if me, me and Dad got artistic. Mm-hmm. We throw niggas mm-hmm. chemistry. So like, if I see Dad post a picture and some hot art shit, I'm like, yo, let me hit this nigga up in the DM. Yo, bro, you did that? He's like, yeah, I did that. Man, you fire, yo. We got to do a show together. That's the chemistry of two heterosexual men mm-hmm. saying, let's work together and right. be cool right. and be straight mm-hmm. niggas. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But right. if a female and you you got chemistry with her for some way, she's like, yo, your artwork is dope. You like, yo, you're dope. Look at you. Ooh, man, thank you. Da, da, da. That chemistry started off as a friendship and stuff too. But you're like, damn, you kind of sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so he like, yo, remember the nigga? I don't know if y'all did y'all see Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but that light skinned nigga with the Michael Ealy oh and shit was on some bullshit. Any nigga. Do not call my girl artwork exquisite or none of that shit. <laughs> Say that shit dope. Any nigga that's doing all that, like, I mean, it's, uh, Ma- it's Michael Ely. Like, come on. He, him saying it is like, he's just like, it. oh, why did you drop your paintbrush? Your work is just exquisite. You belong going, man, that nigga trying to fuck. He trying to slap. He was trying to fuck Aunt Viv. You know what I mean? And <laughs> that's what, what she talking about. That- <laughs> She talking about the niggas that's trying, like the, like the artsy chick that might just be like, yo, I've been talking, your work is exquisite. But that's when discipline comes into play. Like, mm. you know, there's been some females that have hit on me uh, in the artist world, mm. and I keep it straight platonic. I'm like, look, your artwork is cool, da, da, da. And I just know I'm not crossing that line with you because 
You look at me as a whatever way you look at me as is you respect me as an artist and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep that respect there by not crossing the line because I don't want you to be like, oh, well, he wanted me, he wanted to fuck me. No, 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 no. We just art friends, sis. You know what I'm saying? And so, I love that they can be like, yo, he ain't never trying no nut shit with me. Right. right. So and I, I, that that make me feel good knowing that I could have. You could respect. You could you could respect her as a woman. Hold on, he said it make you feel good to know he could have. And, 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 and I. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. So it made you feel. Hold on, let's let's because he. Yeah, what you say? It made me feel good knowing that cause this is how women work. They're not gonna say. I want you to fuck me. They're going to say, I gave you the look that you should have known that I wanted you to fuck me. You know what I'm saying? I gave you the opportunity to make that pass. Mm -hmm. But women won't make the pass to you. They say, I'll open the door so you can make the pass. Is that true? Yes. I believe. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Y'all don't that push up on nothing. Is that what y'all do? Y'all don't push up we, on we do. We do give signals, yes. Right. Well, Monica, that's opening Monica, the door. you give signals? That's opening <laughs> but, but I'm and, and, too. And well, that's, I'm but, but hold on. Hold on. Let's be honest. Well, uh, like it's rare that women push up on guys. It's rare. Men, it's rare that women push up on guys. They expect us to know what their signal was. Absolutely. No, that, and they're like, true. "Yo, dog, that's you didn't true. see the signal." I said, "Oh, I'm tired. I think I'll just stay at your place." Okay, cool. Let me get you a, a blanket for the couch. Nigga, she want to fuck. She just said, "I'll stay at your place. I'm tired. Don't give her a blanket for the couch." Bring her to the bathroom. God, listen, I was never a nigga that missed those signals I picked up. My, my, wi -Fi, my wi Fi was ex exquisite. So is, it, so is it safe to say? Is it safe to say? That men that cheat on their women, they still love them, even though they cheated on them. I I would say yes. Uh, unfortunately, yes. So so you could you could yeah, so you but still love it, them. No, absolutely, because yeah. because love and loyalty is two different things. Ah. You can you can you can love the shit out of somebody, but not be loyal to them. That's why for me, I prefer loyalty. Mm. I don't want, I don't really need you to love me. Oh, like love, so love, talking. love is cool. Like right. love is cool, but when it come to like my partner, right? That I'm a build with, it's mm -hmm. going like I'm a like it's going kind of like cost me. Yeah, I'm gonna be investing in this. Would I'm you rather take... have love or respect? Well, I, well, they, well, they both go hand in why hand. Why doesn't loyalty no, go, no, no, come no, with, no, with no, love? No, love because again, because people love, throw the word a lot love of people. Around. Listen, you gotta understand that people can love you and still mistreat the shit out of you. Yeah, still do foul shit. Loyalty is a different ball game. When you tell a motherfucker like, yo, if, if I deal with a female, right, and I'm telling her like, look, my main thing with this shit is loyalty. I ain't with Sharon. I want to do special shit to you. Shit that I feel comfortable doing. I can't even eat your pussy properly if I know it's been 10 dicks in it. Or just another dick last night. Just another I wanna, dick. I, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I don't even want to eat the pussy for, for no example, more. For example, a person could be loyal to a person and hate them. If we go into an agreement together that we gonna do something and we make this, we ain't telling on each other this is what it is, we being loyal, but I hate this person. I ain't even no love there. Mm -hmm. But shit. Loyal, the loyalty can still be there with hatred there. Real you know shit. what I'm saying? So, I, I don't like my kids. <laughs> what? But I, I, I'm dead ass. Okay, <laughs> Anybody with kids will understand. I do not like my kids like that. You know, they're man, I fucking annoying. Yo, but I love... You guys wild. Huh? Yeah. I got three. <laughs> but I love my kids. You know what I'm saying? How old, how old is he? How old are they? My, my, my oldest son... <laughs> My wife had a son before I met her. He's 23. Okay. My son is 15. Okay. My daughter's 11. She's an asshole. <laughs> they they definitely old enough to jump you. My, my, and my youngest they daughter is you. the biggest asshole. She's five. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do not like those motherfuckers. They are broke. <laughs> they are needy as fuck. <laughs> and they don't give a fuck about me. I do not like my kids. But I love my kids. I will take a bullet for those pieces of shit. But you know what I'm saying? Right, I just, right, right. Everybody knows I don't like my kids, but I love my kids. Right, right, right. Yo, that's actually hilarious. I, I have no problem with saying that. You know on what's the crazy? Mic. You know what's crazy? That you know we we entertain and we talk a shit, but it's a lot of real relationships. I bet you, right? And this is my opinion, but I bet you there's a lot of real relationships out there right now where one partner saying, "I don't like that nigga, but I love him." My wife does not like me. <laughs> You think I give a fuck? Right. <laughs> what? I'm still gonna get them cheeks Saturday mornings. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. And we still gonna and go on vacation. How long? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> right. That's why I don't like you. That's why you. That's exactly why she's 
she don't like you don't listen, remember her at I, I do remember. It changes every year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's oh, like, the, the okay, my daughter's 12. So mm-hmm. we've been together 13 years. Mm-hmm. We've been married eight. Oh, shit. There oh, you go. That. It just takes that a little math. time. Yeah. Yo, this nigga is stupid, But bro. she does not like me. Mm. I'm cool with that. I'm right. so cool with that. It does Damn. not bother me. Absolutely so, not. So, so, the, so the question is for y'all, um, back to the, the real question, is let's say this person... Thank you. Let's say this person does everything else right. So this is a person that you trust with your finances. They have great uh, advice, input, or or moves on the finances. They're great with parenting, the way they're attentive to the kid, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You know he'll take a bullet for you, all of that thing. But the one thing is, he's like, this nigga will save other kids out of a burning building. He just can't pass up. On a fat, no. on a fat ass bug. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Hold on, hold on. Before we, before we, is it all the time or is this? I mean, it's one just time something. No, it's, it's no, just no, period. No, no, though. You gotta worry about. Does he have a problem? To, to be honest, honest, problem. He has a problem. Oh, he has a problem. Yeah, he has a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> listen. To be honest, if you gotta worry about it, period. Again, for me, y'all know my thing is like treating people how you want to be treated. Absolutely. In a perfect world. Yes, I would want to be able to have my cake and eat it too, right? But let's be honest. In the world, in the world that I that I want to live in anyway, I already know it's almost like tit for tat. Like, you know, if you do something, she gonna wanna fuck something. Mm-hmm. Now I'm saying like that's just how it goes. So my whole thing is like So you don't do it because you don't want it done to her. <laughs> No, I no, don't do it. I don't do it. Process, yeah, no, 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 no. You, you, you <laughs> right. You right. You right. think that is laughing? You right. Because, because, but y'all take it the wrong way. What you gotta look at is what that we take it the wrong way. Yeah, some, some women, some women, some women. Because you gotta understand that if a nigga is saying like, yo, if he's just being totally brutally honest, saying, yo, I'll never fuck nothing because I ain't let nobody fuck that. Not what I never. That's not nice. Like, that's not nice. It don't matter if it's nice. That nigga love you. That means he that like you. That nigga love you. Hold on, wait, wait. That nigga not trying to. She didn't understand what you said. That's kind of real. That, listen, that nigga love you. He not whip sharing you. He not bargaining for it. Nothing. That's just like Dev said, right? Hold on, let's, if, let's if, make if sure nigga, I said this. Listen, <laughs> if a nigga so beat me, me listen. Enough. If a nigga, if a nigga can beat me financially, right? If a nigga can beat me financially, life well off. He got me beat in success. And my lady is kind of like into that type shit. She a material type chick for the most part. Cause let let's just call her have this. him, bro. Oh, I'm she definitely going to let him she have can him. go. My whole thing is like, it's no way. That nigga could be like, yo, I'm going to take care of him. He going to be cool. Like, nigga. Like, he my loves respect. Me, he loves my me respect, enough to put his wants to the side. My respect. How long, is, though? Right? My respect is too How much. Long, I would rather Monica? fuck. I would rather fuck somebody in a shelter. I would be like, oh, I'm never broke. fucking no, nobody no, in the no, shelter. No, but I'm just saying, what if my situation was like that where I'm broke, I'm fucked up, mm-hmm. and my wife decided to go with some rich nigga, mm-hmm. right? Like, yo, nah, you know what? I'm going to actually be cool. I didn't lose anything. She showed me who she was. Maybe I would was- rather go, if this is my situation where I'm homeless, I'm broke, I'm fucked up, yeah. I'm going to find somebody dope in that that's but, on my but, same but level. We're trying to figure it out. But in this, but in this scenario, it's almost like, no, it's like saying your wife is like, no, I'm an excellent businesswoman. I'm an excellent person at every single other thing. My only issue is sometimes I get caught up in the moment and I fuck a nigga. But that's what that's I'm telling a, you. That's, that's a, my but biggest you gotta, thing. But you got to know your partner, yeah, right? And we first. always, we always mm, have this convers- mm. we always have this conversation. Have those conversations, right? Those difficult Get, conversations. Those different adult conversations. Early on. Very from the beginning. Remember we talked about this No with one's going to say I have this problem when they first meet well, you. Well, not the first. No, but when you start being with somebody for a decent amount of time, I want to say like the first couple weeks, you need to have that conversation. No, before first, you start fucking wrong. Right, listen, listen, first off, in the car. It ain't going to happen Stop before what? that either. Yeah, don't do that. It's definitely don't not going to do happen. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? Don't do that before you start fucking wrong. They say we fuck wrong from the rip. That's because a lot of tell you right after this. They said we get in pussy and go straight to the crap table. Uh, artistic like. niggas, art, artistic <laughs> niggas going raw from the rip. He lying. They'll tell you right after too. Right after you get dicked down, they'll be like, "Oh, I got a problem. I like to fuck other bitches too." It's like you just gave me the, the greatest fight ever, and you want to tell me that now? Now I gotta 
think about it. Like, can I put up with it? You got to marinate like, uh, damn, do I really want it? That's uh, manipulation. That's, like, that's, that's what abuse. You she said, hold on, that's, 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 that's abuse. It's not abuse. It's not abuse. He said, it is. if he give you the greatest pipe ever and then he, he tells you like, oh, by the way, I fuck yes. other bitches like this. Abuse. Oh, first of all, if you fuck a bitch really good, you ain't got to say nothing. She going to say, I don't so know how many we? other bitches he's fucking like this. They already going to ask themselves Word that up. question. You don't got to even say nothing. You just walk away like, yeah, you like what I just did to you. <laughs> and the first right. thing they're thinking is, damn. And most likely it was raw. Ah, the need is definitely raw. So see, just a minute. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, ain't nobody having no amazing sex with no fucking condom on, bro. <laughs> no, fast. All that fucking rubber smell. Right, come on, man. Let's say that. I, 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 I ain't never that. been like, oh, yeah, let me get another condom. That I one. Had, we, I ain't going to. We made, burnt that one to the ground. Listen, wait, wait. This show is so irresponsible to the masses. No, let Wally, <laughs> Wally had a question. Go ahead. No, I was going to. I was gonna ask, has anyone had amazing sex with a condom? <laughs> no. I can only, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I don't probably, even know what a let's condom say, is. Let, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. Mean, you I ain't been go, married, you shouldn't. I ain't giving y'all no real numbers, but <laughs> let's say if I had 50, <laughs> let's say if I had 50 women in my lifetime. <laughs> you fuck 50 in a row. Only, listen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't fuck 50 in a row. I ain't fuck 50 in a row. I definitely ain't fuck. No, but, no, it definitely ain't 40 dollars. <laughs> but I can only recall for real, for real, them condom situations. It might have been. We a, might as well not have even had sex. That's that how I look at it. I'm like, look, it was an emotional bust. We don't even got to count this. It was actually a, 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 a Trojan Ultra Slim. And I think it was the condom. Dead, right. To be honest, we're, we're, we're like, it worked, it worked out and it was kind of cool. Okay. But it wasn't many, to be honest. Them condoms fuck shit up. Hey, and they wait, smell, wait, wait, and they come smell come like, on. and they smell like a racetrack. It's like okay, brothers listen, burning. Please protect yourself. It's like we're NASCAR. Not saying he's saying to go out here That's and not have good. unprotected sex. Listen, find your partner, find your person, and then have that amazing sex with that person. Listen, man, yeah. this nigga okay, said it's NASCAR. NASCAR pussy. No, NASCAR. let's be honest. No, hold on. Let's be honest. Everybody out there in the chat. He's trying let's to say be, burning rubber. Let's man. be honest. Do condoms like kind of like have that rubber stink? No, it has smell. A stink, no, but hold on. Your hands yeah, hand smell like a condom a when you put it on. Can I, stand, can I stand up for condoms real quick? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a stand Trojan. I'm a Trojan dad. Listen, man. I'm a dynasty dad. I'm a stand up for condoms. You can't stand up for condoms if you're having raw sex. It's just not okay. All right. First of all, watch your mouth. It's like, it's like long. It's long. Listen, I'm sweating. This shit is hilarious. Hold on, wait. Listen, when you young, see, this is what happens. I feel like, uh, like no, our meats, right. our meats have like receptors or like a force field on them, and over years. The force field gets like worn down or something it's like that. It's a sandwich bag. Or, or the sensors, your sensors, <laughs> your sensors get desensitized. Oh, the so penis. when you young, you could have a yondom on and it, it feels feel like, great. whoa, whoa, you gotta stop. Hold on, whoa. But as you become more <laughs> You 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 been in the it's dojo like, long. As soon as you put that condom on the tip of your dick, it's your like, dick be like, "Hey yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing?" The thing. And then he you look, ever try to put thing. your dick he got, in he the like pussy? He got a green condom going on his head. Right? <laughs> 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 what do you say? Them condoms cause trouble, man. The pussy don't be. To, the pussy be feeling like it ain't letting you hole. in. You feeling like you Gary, like you doing something wrong? Like am I violating? Like what the fuck? You are violating. That it, should be terrible. Not nah, just the condom. It's the condom. It's not me. Cause if it was raw skin to skin, you'd be like an ocean. First of all, skin to skin, you feel the heat. You feel the wetness. Right. You feel. You know. You like. Oh shit. This is skin what you to feel skin. Like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flesh to flesh. Flesh of my flesh. Blood of my blood. <laughs> Dmx. Y'all want the D? <laughs> oh, listen, dog. And my X marks the spot. Oh. <laughs> She said that, not me. <laughs> Listen, um, dick butt mix mud shut up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so so basically, uh, we still know that you said yes, he can be a great man, and you would be cool with a man like that. I wouldn't possibly. be cool with a man like that. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she said you would be cool. Yo, listen, I ain't gonna hold you. Absol hold, on, she hold on, I wouldn't be cool with a man like that, especially if this is a own. If this is something that he shared with me, that this mm -hmm. is something that he does. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm in a relationship and that happens. Or would, whatever. Would you I, let it go the first time and be let like, me, let me talk? tell you something. In any relationship, a man's gonna cheat eventually. At what? some point in time, what? I'm well, why, not gonna lie. Okay, so why you know, why do you think a man will cheat eventually? I wanna hear your reason, because I already know the answer, but why? I wanna hear your reason. Because men are always trying to 
what is the word we said? I'm saying fulfill. Ego. Um, feed feed, feed your ego. Feed the ego. I'm mm-hmm. saying fulfill the ego. What mm-hmm. the hell? Mm-hmm. Feed the ego. And mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of men out here that are empty in some degree. I really mm-hmm. believe that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's why sometimes they're not doing it to harm the woman. They're not doing it because they hate her. Can, I just think it's a personal thing. It has nothing you, to do can with I her. Can I tell you something what happened to me? Go ahead. So when I re- when I really stopped cheating, I'm talking about every form of whatever type of cheating shit was. So okay, you had everybody, let's, yes, absolutely. Okay. It was a big Instagram thing. I, it was on the gram. It was every, on Instagram. Yeah, it was a big. I don't want to go back. All there. right, we're not gonna take that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you. So, so, he talking like part. he talking like the audience know what the fuck going on with him. He sounded like DJ Envy for real, for real. <laughs> Go ahead. I had, a, I, had a, uh, I had a big scandalous situation happen. It was it was nothing to, to keep go deep into, but right. it was out there. It was put out there. My wife said some stuff about it, and, and it and it got out there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And after that, I was like, you know what? Let me chill out with texting girls, flirting with girls, and doing all the extra stuff, going out and hanging out, and just being too flirty and stuff like that. Once I did that, and I came back home, and I'm home now more often. I'm not staying out late. I'm like, hey, you want to get something to eat? She's like, dog, we just ate yesterday. Oh, my God, you here again. You know what I'm saying? And it got to a point where, like, I was on her dick, and she's like, oh, my God, I'm just not used to this because I'm so used to you being out, cheating or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck you right. been doing. Wow. <laughs> I am honestly not even attracted to you anymore. You know what I'm saying? My stomach got bigger. I was home. I didn't feel sexy anymore. I stopped wearing, dressing up in nice clothes and stuff. Because sometimes cheating and being around other women, it keep you on your pivot so you know how to talk that shit, have that yo, slang. Hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, yo. Listen, hold up, listen, I... so the moment, the moment I said, you know what? You told me you're not attracted to me. It was to a point where like, all right, it affected our sex now because I'm not that untouchable guy that you have in your head now. You know what I'm mm. saying? So now I was like, you know what? I'm going back to my old ways and shit. You no, know what I'm saying? No, let me, hold on, what you mom, mean, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what you let mean? Him, let, him let him finish. Let him so finish. when I say go back to my old ways and stuff like that, we men have to practice. If we don't fucking practice, we going to be trash. Okay? Wow. So if we don't go out and practice in the field, sometimes I go out and practice and be like, oh my God, I'm so glad I got a wife at home because this bitch is tripping or this bitch is corny. And so I'll be, can, can we call it jugging? Can you jug? I'm not really that cool. I don't know if jug <laughs> okay. is a new word. So instead of cheating, right? Instead of cheating to still feel like, so shout out to my friend. He knows who he is because this is, I got the word from him. So instead of cheating, right? You'll go to a bar, right? You with your homies, you got females that you be like, let me buy you a drink. Let me, you know, you're jugging. You're being nice. You're still mm. kind of like, flirting. You, you're like flirtatious, yeah. but you're not going Oh, all yeah, the way. you don't want to get that girl your number where you're talking now. It's right. going to turn into something more than what right. it was. So, like, for, for me, I, I, I think jugging is helpful, not just for the man in a relationship, but for, for the female, too. Like, I want my girl to go out, get dressed up, and I want her to be like, oh, my God, all these niggas are trying to get my number. I'm like, right. yeah, what you tell them, big niggas? Like, yeah, what you tell them? She's like, uh, I gave him my number. No, I'm just joking. No, nah, <laughs> yo, hey, yo, listen, hold on, stop. Hold on, wait, I'm fucking with you. Let me stop. <laughs> yo, let me stop. Hold yeah, it's on. all fun games until she does. Listen, 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 this is the thing. I, I do kind of understand what he's talking about because right. I've experience that as well and which part what you talking about so you're talking about like when you in the crib you feel like you out of practice because i think about that too like if anything you already won you got your girl you got her already but what happens is when do you practice and if if if, god forbid me and my girl something happened we wasn't together five years from now i would feel like i was thrown in the jungle and forgot or thrown in the water it's wild out there bro forgot how to swim right Mm. so my old self was always out there. So remember I told you, like if me and my girl broke up at those points, it was like nothing because I could go in the club tonight and have a new situation immediately. But this is what I'm going to tell y'all niggas at home. Don't do it. This is what I'm going to tell y'all, right? (laughs) At a certain point, no matter what you do, if it's something physical, if you a fighter, right? You, sh- you you know that Mike Tyson, these different people love to remember themselves when they was the best shit a- that apex. could beat everybody, right? Right. right? Sometimes you got to be okay with just the memory of it. You don't need to go back out there and try to throw them punches and end up fucking up, getting fucked up. And also, you don't want to let those other people score on you. This is my, just my opinion. So for me, I don't want to flirt at the bar just to stay sharp. Because I don't want no bitch to be able to be like, yo, hurt Connie, dude, Devin Wade, man, that nigga was buying me dreams on my dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want them to even have that to be able to say. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy, though? That in a lot of these situations, they don't even really like 
and I'm and it's not just women, men and women, right? Let's mm-hmm. do men and women, right? Because we know when we go into like the seriousness of a relationship where we make like that decision, commitment or whatever, right? Um, a lot of things kind of like change, where like priorities change, focus change, right? So you focused on certain things where like how like I mentioned, he gained some weight, some shit, hubby shit, right? Yeah. Wifey shit. You could get it could be vice versa, right? Right. And I just feel like at that point, if the other partner, the significant other, your shit may have didn't change too much like that, where you still like kind of like how y'all met, frame, physique, Mm. whatever. Like, I feel like that's where you supposed to motherfucking cherish loyalty. A lot of your shit, a lot of your, whether it's the man or the woman, a lot of your partner's stuff is changing because they're being super loyal. They don't have a time for like a lot of the other shit. And that's not their focus. It ain't even about time. That's not like, like how he just gave his example. His focus wasn't on I'm losing myself or I got to get back in my old bag or I got to get back. It wasn't really that until probably like you start hearing your wife like, damn, you gaining weight. Or she says like, out her mouth. I'm not physically and sexually attracted to you. Right. Like I so used to be. so that I have a nigga like right jump back in and you, and another thing too is like she in the gym? she like I still travel a no. lot for jobs and stuff right. So when I stopped traveling, then COVID hit. You know what I'm saying? I stopped traveling too. I'm home a lot more. And to be honest with you, COVID is a whole nother thing that fucked up a lot of people's relationships because like the shit where you used to be able to leave out and go and fly and go do this and go do that. Motherfuckers was actually home now. You actually had to be in you your had partner's to face, face that person, yeah. and then you're like, day. "Yo, I just learned that I do not like you." Yo, oh my god! Yo, you, you want to know what's so dope about my life? I found out through COVID that me and my girl was good money. Mm. We argued way more when we wasn't together. See? It's the separation. You to, the separation so, fucked you so up. So the separation is where anything could, the, the misunderstandings take place, the, mm. the fact that we're somewhere else. Once we was there, it was like, oh well, shit. Are you, we is your, get, we, is your we girl, girl not arguing but, but or then, nothing. Is your girl your best friend? I can't say that. Is she your friend? Let's yes. just, is she your friend? My girl is so my friend, this but is she's the problem. not my best friend. Okay, but this is the problem with most couples. I don't, People no, don't I know think, how to, I think best friends is, I don't know, i I hear people say all the time that they girl is their best friend. It's dangerous. I can't see. I've never experienced anything like that because I feel like with Do you have niggas, a best friend? I, 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 it's hard to even so know. So you don't even down. know if you have a best friend. So you don't even know if your girl is your best friend or not. No, no. I'm going to no, tell you why. My group of friends, we're all... It's weird, but mm-hmm. we're all kind of like that. Like brothers. No, like everybody, I, I, like Dev, if, trust me. I personally know yeah, you yeah, yeah. and I know your group of friends. Yeah. So I know how y'all fuck with each other. Yeah, so yeah. I get where you're coming from yeah, now. Yeah. I get it now. So, all so right. it's like these are the type of people that you feel like you could say anything to. A lot of times, even when you're in a relationship, you don't feel comfortable saying anything to your girl. See, that nigga you gotta, behind, you listen, that go nigga behind them cameras, L's, I'm going to tell him anything I feel. Even if it's something about I'm going to tell, tell it to him because I feel like he not going to take it well, some type of way. But even if marriage, he do, he's still my brother me tomorrow. Me being married, in mm-hmm. marriage, mm-hmm. when you get to that level, because there's people get so hyped about this level right here. Mm-hmm. This level right here is the wedding. Right. Mm-hmm. Trust and believe, there's 90 more levels after the fucking wedding. People mm-hmm. get hype about what they're going to wear to the wedding, who's coming to the wedding, the mm-hmm. food at the wedding, the DJ at the wedding. That ain't shit about marriage. Marriage is this whole big caliber above that shit. Word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then once your your wife or your partner becomes your best friend, you should be able to be like, babe, what you think about a threesome? Or you said, babe, I don't like when you fart at night. Oh, oh my gosh, I don't like your pussy. You mind like shaving it or getting a laser <laughs> removal for that joint? That's that's best friend levels when y'all can talk about those kind of real things shit. and you really should, fuck yeah, with each other. You should be you know able to have like real, and I think that's what I'm looking into. Like when I'm moving forward, try, when I'm dating, right? Mm-hmm. Like right now in those mm-hmm. situations, being able to kind of like say what I want and what I need because I feel like women we suppress that because we want men to think. Listen, that we want them to know what we thinking, and we and that's not. That's not a great trait to have, but a lot of women we do do have, yes. One No, one of my best friends, right, and it it sticks out to me, right? She's a female, right? And she told me about the first time, and her her and her husband, they good. They great. They've been married. They starting businesses together. Super loyal. I I tip my head off to them, right? And it stuck out to me when she told me the story of how they met, right? And she told me that um, when um, she went to go see him for the first time, like she was kind of like exhausted from all the previous shit, the dumb shit, right? 
so, men in general? The, the men in general, okay. just her experiences with different men, right? So when she went to this guy, she felt like he was a good guy, solid. She had a good feeling from the rip energy-wise. So she just said, from the rip, first day like type shit, yo, I'm such and such. I got this many kids. I got this many baby dads. I'm looking for this. This is what I'm trying to do. Only this. Like, relationship type shit. You know what I mean? Whatever. See, that scares but niggas off, man. It, I don't want to hear it, all that but shit. Listen, it do to, it do to the... Listen, it do to the nigga that ain't ready for it. Right. It do to the nigga that ain't looking for that. Right. Like, see, I, I can respect that. I, I, but listen. my thing is this. I don't even know if I like you yet. I don't know if I like the way you chew your food yet. Listen. Like, let's just have a real regular situation. Maybe on the third date that you can start... Listen, I, that res- I respect that, but we also got to respect that she shot her shot like that, mm. and it worked. But it gives the you nigga, the she nigga got actually, it out the way. The nigga, it, right? the nigga actually, the nigga actually said, "I never been really like approached with this type realness and this type upfrontness mm-hmm. and bluntness from the rip." Like, look, this what the fuck it is. But this goes to what she said. If you and that person can cohesively connect and have that bond, you can't force that type shit with somebody. Right? You know what I'm saying? Our friendship, you can't force it. How many people call you every day, Dev? Get me on your show. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. How many niggas is in your DMs? Right. You but, know what I'm saying? But look. But you can't force it. If you fuck with somebody, if you like them, it's going to naturally, cohesively but let's be come honest. together. But let's be honest. The world we live in ain't that world. The world we live in is a materialistic world where most people try to force shit for the wrong reasons. Mm. Most people her try saying to- what most she people said, to, Her saying what she said at that first date, that nigga liked it. Another nigga, like I said, would have been like, yo, uh, this too much, sis. That, I but, just but, wanted but to get that, something but to that's, eat. But that's how she gets to eliminate that person. And, she right, right, right. but, and then look, you said it worked for them. Yeah. So for yeah, some no, reason, they cohesively... She did it to the right nigga. But, what, yes. but, 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 but my thing is this. It's a lot of niggas that, guess what? They could have wanted to just pump and say... I'm cool with all that. I'm that nigga right. and got what they got and spun the fuck off. You know off. What, yeah. what, what, what used to work for me? I take a chick out to dinner and stuff like that. And, and the chick one time, I'm not going to say who she is, she said to me like, yo, this was such a good dinner. Da, da, da. What you want to do after this? I was like, look, sis, I could lie to you or I could be straightforward. You tell me what you want. She's like, tell me straightforward what you want. I said, I'd like to take you back to my house and fuck the shit out of you. And she <laughs> said, oh, word? Right, and at that moment, my heart dropped because I'm like, "Dog, you really took a leap in the faith." But you was feeling the night; it felt good. She was, she was vibing. She had two drinks. You had one. You know, she might get another drink. Maybe this will go the direction you wanted to go. She said, "I like the sound of that," and we did it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Monica, is that? I, how, I, is that I, hold on, wait, wait, Monica, is, I, that I, how your, is that how your conversations go? You want a nigga to just just tell you like that at the at the dinner, like you know what I mean? It depends on whose mouth it's coming out of. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So look, that's the best way. You don't want to hear a nigga telling you, I want to rub your back. <laughs> I want to rub oil on you. No, I ain't say no, no freak nigga, shit like that. You know we do It just asked her. I said, listen, you want me to be honest? I was smooth about right. it, though. I said, because, you know, there's the the right way of saying, I had a great time. I hope I'd like to see you again. We had a, you know, X, Y, and what Z. What type of girl is going to say that they want you to lie to them? Some women be like, I mean, I want you to be a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. I if don't she think they said want that, you to, then I don't took the yeah, lie. They're never going to say they oh, want the you to lie. Oh, the vulgarness of it? Like, right, they want right, you right. to put say up, it in a like nicer way? No, no. Yeah. So, no, no. Also, what it is, is women don't want to feel... And you could tell me... Y'all could tell me if y'all disagree. Women don't want to feel like they just told somebody, I want to fuck. Right. So, they always... Sometimes they, they want to blame... They sometimes throw they want to blame it that... Blame it that he gamed me. You understand what I'm saying? Because they might want to fuck or whatever like that, but they don't like the, the the idea of the dude saying what he said. Y'all want to take you back home and smash it. And they was just like, all right, but cool. Me- they would rather him sweet talk them, maybe even lie. You know what I'm saying? They want him to work for it. But even if it's a lie, they want to feel like, I didn't give up the pussy because I just wanted to fuck. I gave up the pussy because he said he was but looking for a But women too sometimes say, hey, listen... I don't want a relationship with you. You seem mm. nice. You're cool. You look like you got a big dick. I kind of want to fuck you tonight, too. And I know this ain't going to go nowhere, but I just wanted to have a good time. I had some drinks. I got a free weekend. My mom got the kids. I just want to fuck. Women think like that. Because you know why? Because I've had a talk with my wife, and she said, yes, sometimes we know it, that nigga ain't shit, and he ain't, it ain't going nowhere. And we, two women, just want to have a good time and get, get our pussy ate. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of women won't speak out. This is why I said my, me and my wife relationship is really dope because we can talk like this. And I'm like, wow, this is another insight from from a woman's perspective and shit like that. You know, but what I, mean? I think I, it depends too because like there's certain women that have like higher sex drives, right? But like I'm thinking, 
I can understand what your wife was saying because you got women who had kids, right? And then don't really get that. Or you don't have that time. You're like, or they have the time. Right, my right, mom right. is watching the kids next week in the room. This is the only time <laughs> I have. So I can right. understand why. Like, So for me, I don't have kids. I've never been married. None of that. I'm only 32. Did you go ever then, on a date with somebody you didn't plan on having sex with? Yeah. Oh, say it again? Did you ever go out on, on a date with somebody? With somebody that you didn't cook, plan on having sex with? Yes. So when I say plan, is it like, do y'all say, okay, I might have sex with this guy. Let me wear my, my nicer panties just in case. No. I think I think for me it's more of like, you're not you expecting it because, you. I mean, you're not expecting what that chemistry going to be like. Yes, you met them. You know, you're going on a first okay. date. She, you she worded it wrong. Do yeah. you go out on a date with somebody you can't see yourself having sex with? Is what she probably want to say. Is that what you meant? For the free meal. Like, mm-hmm. could you? Just, like, just like, for the, like, just for the. That you couldn't see yourself having sex with. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I, so, have I done it before you? Yes. So basically, That's so basically, oh, yeah. so basically, y'all using niggas for a night out. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, uh, listen, but that ain't, but that ain't, that ain't nothing. We, that ain't nothing we don't know. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's, we, we already know. But it's like, the game. The game is, how can I change her mind? <laughs> listen, but let's, but let's, but hold on, but hold on. Yeah, I this, <laughs> this what I want, but, but this leads me kind of like to get to the other shit. Like, right? When a woman kind of like, I just feel like we know what we want out of it as yeah. men. I feel like a lot of shit be like women be scared to say what they want. That's the problem. No, yeah, women we do. be women be scared to be dogs. Women thinking That's what about I was why saying. do you think women, that? Women, why be, do you think because that? y'all worried about getting called whores, hoes, prostitutes, this and all that dumb shit. But y'all know niggas is whores. Y'all know niggas got damn near the legal pass to be a whore. And y'all because still because it's a work. double standard though. But, y'all but, but, judge but, women but no, more. it's a double standard because y'all keep going by the person whoever the fuck made up double standards. Fuck double standards. Let's deal with reality. But it is or hard. No, it is. It is hard because we, we put the reality, we put the pressure. We do apply that pressure to them to be like, yo, she's a whore. This or that. A third. Right. It's a man's right. world. Right. It's a man's world. Unfortunately, crazy, though, my thing is this, man. Just to take a girl out on a dinner to a mm. restaurant, mm. it's two hundred dollars. Okay, mm. everybody's money and, and budgets is different than that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like. How many of these two hundred dollar dates am I taking on before I can get some pussy? <laughs> I knew you was going there with that, and I it's wish you did it. Word it that way. Nah, no, all right, listen. After two, I slip into Applebee's. <laughs> check her temperature. <laughs> Applebee's is first. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making it to the two hundred dollars. I feel like this, man. I saw some real shit, man. Men, men doesn't know. The men don't know the the, the the signs of if she's feeling you, not mm. feeling you, or you're gonna be that free meal guy or not. You know what I'm saying? Throw the temperature out and be like, hey, listen, I really think you're a beautiful woman. I'd like to take you out to dinner if that's cool with you. Da 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 da. And if you got filter, temperature, just say, like, look, I'm, I don't know, like if she it ain't it. Like that, it ain't it. You ain't it. It ain't nigga. it. And then, honestly, for the women, and I'm in a space at this space now in my life, like I don't got time. If I don't even look at you in a way where I wanna. See a future or do you or anything like that. I'm not gonna waste my energy to hang do with you. you. Do, do you? you. <laughs> if I can't see myself doing you. <laughs> you know what it is? Because you get to a certain point in time. Yes, when I was younger, I would just go out to eat whatever. But like, it's a way. Honestly, what would, it's a waste what would make you time. look at a guy and be like this? Yeah, I don't wanna do you. Like, what would make you say that? I don't that? know. I think the first thing that turns me off about it is his teeth. Th- All right. Personality. Oh. Ooh, that shit would turn me off fast. Right. You can look good as hell and have the shittiest personality. And I'm like, like be not like, the swagger or like. No, what you're kind just, of- you're ignorant, you're rude and disrespectful. Oh. Period. I don't like that. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. Talk heavy. You, I'm done. <laughs> Period. All right, look. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> now listen. We listen. We body that. We body that. I think we put a hell of a the dosage of information out there. I want to get into something different, real quick with the team, right? Because you know, y'all you know I'm the etiquette expert. Yes. The last like couple months, I've been to etiquette school, mm-hmm. learning about new etiquettes. Though you know, back in the day, we used to go over etiquettes about the well, dinner we need table. We etiquettes for podcasting. Oh, wait, listen, we're gonna get to that. You need. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get when to y'all that. Y'all come to the show. We need out toys for y'all. Y'all can't be sitting next to us, right? 
They coming on this show. Monica, does Mon- you- please no, no, clear no. that up. No, no, no. Clear it up right no. now. We had some guests on this show. She just heavy on mints anyway. We had some guests on this show. I think we need to provide <laughs> Altoids. Yeah. You can't be coming on please this show clear and it speaking. Please clear it up, Monica. Mon- 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 that's true. Okay. Okay. Tell me that I'm you. good. Please tell me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. And I smell good. He <laughs> need to be, be like, free that right shit up me. now. I'm going to be like, yeah, I've been breath be bald. You heard what that's... No. <laughs> no. Well, come on, Richie. I we got no, G shit, to the G shit. No, G shit. Wally even... Wally always put me on the shit. She even told me, like, Rich, stop playing... Like, because I, 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 sometimes I was buying the Tic Tac, the little fruity Tic Tac. Oh, she was like, Rich, leave that alone. That don't help you. Get the mints. <laughs> it's a mints, out toys, no, whatever. Get the white... Him and Dave come back with fucking... <laughs> Right. Orange tic tacs right. for me. Cinnamon, y'all know we chi- y'all, know we, y'all know we childish. But listen, listen. I want to get to this next piece, right? Because this is an important piece, and I want the fam, I want the fam, the nasty girls, everybody, to help me elaborate on this, right? All right. Etiquettes. Etiquettes come from like for me. Etiquettes come from like back in the day at the dinner table. Uh, certain things that was like the right thing to do, the proper way of doing things, right? So now I feel like we need. We in a new a new state of the world, right? right? World yeah. changing every day. So we need new etiquettes, right? So today we're gonna focus on internet etiquettes. Y'all know I talk about different etiquettes, mm-hmm. uh, traffic etiquettes, internet etiquettes, gym etiquettes, dinner table etiquette, whatever. Today I want to go into internet etiquettes, right? Okay. What's wrong? What's right? Because I feel no, 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 no. This is some serious shit. I feel like a lot of shit has been again miss. Miss fucking interpreted, represented, okay, mi- definitely misinterpreted, <laughs> but misrepresented from the grip because whoever put it out, they put it out the fucked up way. So, I want to talk about right in rules on the internet, right? When you kind of like they almost make it feel like, well, give me some when, examples. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about like to post, they almost make it feel like when you follow somebody, right? When you hit the follow button, like that's almost like concrete. If you hit the unfollow button. After you hit the follow button, now you're like a, a, a you're less of a man or less of a woman. You're weak. You're weird. You did something wrong. And I just feel like this. Right. Let's get into this shit. Right. Because we talking about like if I go subscribe to motherfucking HBO Max or the Netflix. Right. I check it out. If I don't like it, I unsubscribe. No, you're right? weird. No, you're no, weird. no, ain't no, no, fuck that weird. You weird. Like, you're the type of like, person that I'll DM somebody and then unsend it when they First of all, I don't shoot. That's first weird. of all, first of all hold, on, weird. hold on, let's you're get weird. to it. Since you, you said wanna, what you said, since you, I read what you said. Since you want to open your mouth, I haven't DM'd a bitch in like 10 years. So, and if it's a bitch out there with me and your DM, post it. I don't DM you hoes, right? So you're, since you want to talk shit, <laughs> let's get into it. My right. thing is this. No, my thing, my thing, thing is this. No, 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 no. Hold up. Slow up because I love you. Slow up because I love you. My thing is this. If I hit the follow button, right, and I think you a dope female, right, I'm just guessing. For real, for real. If I don't know you from a can of paint and I just guess and say, yo, she seemed like she got a good look. She seems she cool from whatever. If it's a post, whatever. And I decide to hit the follow button. And you show me you a stone cold scumbag. <laughs> you bottom of the shoe scum. You ain't shit. How do you know this though? No, because I know because it violates because everything I stand for. Oh, and my life, you, and, and look, first of all, when I follow you and when I decide oh, to unfollow up. you, it's about what I like. This my page. <laughs> this me. I'm the dad. Yeah, this no, no, page. no, real shit. Cause niggas think they run like you and your page. Mm. Niggas think they can motherfucking tell you, oh, that was corny. You unfollow me. <laughs> but you listen, know what? let me tell people you. People do stuff from their perspective, right? So listen, people follow me and I don't follow back directly. <laughs> you know why? Cause if I get added by somebody with a lot of followers, I'll get a hundred to two hundred new followers. I am. I'm just telling you honestly. It's nothing personal. I'm just not gonna go through those 200 people. Say, man, oh, she's listen. Cool, let me follow back. I just right. don't do. Hey, that. I listen. Niggas done follow me right <laughs> from the gate. Niggas, personal, the fuck is you following me for? Like, listen. Niggas have follow me right. Me being the kind-hearted nigga that I am, the real nigga that I am, right? Okay, I'm taking it like you a real nigga too. You follow me because you fuck with me. Right. Let me hit the follow button back. Right. Next thing you know, a year go by. Mm. Nigga ain't like one post. <laughs> What's wrong with you, nigga? You a miserable nigga? What about, you, a, you a mad nigga all day? What about if you're not just in his algorithm? That could happen too. Man, fuck that algorithm <laughs> shit. Oh, man, man, algorithm. Fuck 
algorithm. These motherfuckers see these posts. I po it's a it's it's hundreds of posts all year long. Mother, my whole thing is this, and it ain't on it ain't on me, right? Cause they gonna try to make it about me. Oh, it ain't that serious. Why he so serious? Nah, why the fuck you follow me? Stay the fuck in your world. <laughs> they, right? call them, go, oh, they call it a ghost, ghost follower. follower. Ghost follower. My whole thing is this. Again, even with the ladies, like the shit me and Monica was talking about, right? If I follow you and, and then I see that you really not my cup of tea, mm -hmm. I just feel like it's okay to unfollow. That's all I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, what happened, hold on real quick. So what would happen in this case, though? What happens when you're unfollowed, though, by somebody that you personally know in some way? Is the, it's the same the, shit. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do y'all know y'all got to unfollow? Hold on, hold on. I, I don't know no, why no. I got unfollow. I got to follow. No, 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 no. This, so this is how, how you find out. Know? This is how you find out. One day you go to the person's page, right? And when you go, let me let me pour it again. Fuck that shit. Let me get some love. Oh, wait, 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 get a <laughs> so look, what happens is one day you go to that person's is, page. They hold me down, crazy. You go to that Even person's Monica. page, and their page uh, might have the thing that says that they don't follow you or some right. shit like yeah. that, right? So what I'm saying is, what does that tell you then from an etiquette standpoint? Because for me, right? I don't take it personally. Okay. I just, me personally, mm -hmm. I don't, because some people will, will have a thing where they're like, yo, I honestly don't know what happened. It says I don't follow you. So mm -hmm. I think Instagram has a thing where it does glitch like that. Mm -hmm. So I, so from now on, I just don't take it personal. But uh, that's, and that's my main reason for giving this spill. It right. should never be personal. I really don't care. It should never be personal. But I listen, think, I think I because I got a lot of followers, I just don't care no more. Yeah. So maybe if I had 2,000 followers, I'd probably be like, how about shit get back down no, to 1999? No. But, 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 but keep it real. You notice your shit when it you notice your oh, shit when it's going up and down. Go down. When you at when you at 20, uh, 2100, then the next day you at 1950. Nah, that's a that's a big You notice you, it. No, it happens to me, but, 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 bro. I'll lose a hundred followers and be like, damn. Yeah, but my shit said 40,003, now it's 40,001. Uh, 100 like, is different. I still crazy. need to understand because if you're talking about people taking it personally, if you don't know the person, that's one thing. What happens when you see Nobody can act like they've ever seen somebody that was following them that they know in real life. Like mm -hmm. if you know them in real life and then you see they're not following you anymore, right? It, it, that actually is kind of weird because let's say a lot of people that you don't talk to every day that you're cool with, for example, me and him don't talk on the phone every day. I've known I this barely man. talk yeah, to you. I, known this I respect you mad crazy, but, but I don't we, talk to you every but day. But we can see what each other is doing online. Right. So for me to unfollow him would be like the I final. I don't want to see it, right? It's the final. It's Shay. Hold on, hold on. It's Shay. So, so this is where I okay, want to so get that's into. That's where he coming so, from. No, no. When is, you know each no, other. No, no. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm asking because at that point, what I'm saying is, I don't even want to know what's going on with you because it's not like I keep up with you in regular life. And now the last thing that I have of you is. You on the timeline. Sorry, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm talking about. When a person sees something like that and they like, oh shit, so and so doesn't follow me anymore. What does that mean, etiquette porter? Right. I just feel like when it's personal, mm -hmm. when it's personal is the only time where like I feel like a, a a question or conversation might be valid. Where you actually know the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Y'all been in there. Hey, this your man's mm -hmm. and he unfollow you. Then that's a different story. Now that because this is your friend. It's different. A lot of this other shit is internet shit. It's social media. That's what social media is for. Socializing, meeting new people, shit like that, right? So you try people's chin. You see if you can fuck with a person or what the person about. When you see, when they start posting shit that you like, oh, I ain't into that. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That energy fucks with me. Now, that's a fact. It's yeah. okay. My whole thing is, it's okay to unfollow. Yeah. People make When people unfollow me, bro... I don't, they'll never hear that from me. Right. You'll never hear me go nowhere and say, yo, such and such unfollow me because I just look at it like I wasn't your cup of tea. I, I carry myself okay. a certain way. I will tell you what mm. would make me unfollow or uh, they have a new thing now where you can mute somebody. Yeah, I definitely mute so, a lot of people. let's say Kyrie is putting a lot of Jones with his shirt off. <laughs> and his six pack out. Right. Oh, did this happen? No. <laughs> Kyrie's my man. <laughs> just don't want to see his titties. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say Kyrie doing he's doing some workout stuff and he's doing a lot of stuff with his shirt off and he might have on some um, sweatpants and his meat's moving around. You know what I'm saying? I kind of don't want to see sometimes, that. Right, Monica? Right. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, unfollow Kyrie, 
But I will mute that nigga's page for a little bit till he get his, his shit together. <laughs> shit together. Oh but God. let's say, let's say he's putting a lot of content up and it's like, God damn, bro, every time I go on Instagram, I gotta see Let this shit. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna delete my friend. But I will mute you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think Instagram, what they did was they, they know people like me and was like, yo, he may he may not want to delete this person because mm -hmm. it's going to make him get shot or mm -hmm. some crazy shit in your neighborhood or whatever. Right. But like, because <laughs> you got really upset and I'm like, whoever pissed them off. No, you know what it be, <laughs> though? Know, nah, you know what it be, though? I, it be like people take that shit so seriously, bro. Yeah, I really yeah, People yeah, take yeah, that yeah. shit way too seriously, bro. And it's like, Ridiculous, bro. Like I don't even know you niggas. But to a, be honest, I don't even. It's a social a media people, relationship. That's I say this to. Uh, I say this so 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 much. Where the level where I've, I'm at in my life, a lot of people have never experienced some of the things that I've experienced. It, so I can't assume that they know how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? So for me to be able to let things go and not honestly not give a shit is because I've experienced some of those things. Some people who say, man, I worked my ass off to get 2,000 followers and you unfollowed me and they're all heartbroken about it. I'm like, bro, it's just Instagram. Who gives a flying fuck? Exactly. They, and they say, you got 40,000 followers. I, of course you wouldn't care. Right. And nah, they probably some, really worked hard for their little followers. That's you know probably saying? where a lot of my, like, my little passion comes from. If I, I've seen people try to make that shit like personal. Like, yo, he unfollowed me. Like, bro, listen, if I follow you and I see that you want some different shit from what I'm on... And the initial uh, bond that I thought we could possibly make or I thought we would click doesn't happen. It's perfectly fine to say, I'm going to stay over here on this side. That's just like even the same shit with like uh, females. It's the same shit with, you know, this ain't just a, a man thing. It's the same thing with females. If you follow a female, right, because of how you like, you think she might look your cup of tea, right? And then when you go tap in, you get to find out a little bit more because now you get to see her profile. You're seeing other shit, whatever. And you realize like, ah, uh, nah, this ain't really for me. And you unfollow. You know what I'm saying? But the ghosting thing is new with this era too. I didn't even know about this thing called ghosting. So ghosting is, I mean, I sound old saying this shit, but like the newer generation, they're like, look, if I don't like you no more, I don't, I don't nothing about you, I'm just going to completely disappear. Before in the real world, you know, we older niggas and shit like that. You don't just disappear. Somebody, you tell them, hey, this ain't working out, mm. and you do it properly. Mm. Now no, the ghosting like, thing is when you follow them, but you're not active. Right, let me let me ask mm. you all a question. I'm right? just saying, just an etiquette in general. The let, ghosting thing, this is this generation's thing. You know what I mean? I just be one. I, I don't even think we have enough time, but I just be want to know what's really like worse, right? What's really like worse? Us following each other. And me unfollow you once once I seen we followed each other for nothing. We at we doing absolutely fucking nothing. It's been like a fucking year, two years. <laughs> right. Or what's worse? Or you following a motherfucker, right? Huh? And then don't do nothing. <laughs> Don't even know you follow the nigga for you like a spy. <laughs> no, that's What's the ghost. worse? That's the ghost. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's a ghost. Like, follow. Come on, man. For don't, me, for like, me, listen. You know how sometimes you want to clear up your your feed. I'll go into my joint. It lets me know how many people I actually know in real life. Mm -hmm. Because I'll go through my joint and can't unfollow nobody. I'll be like, no, I don't really know him. I know him. I know him. I, and I be know, going yeah. down my list and be like, yo, I done went through my and whole And is that joint. just for the people that you follow? This will be people that I'm following that, you know, because, you, you know, they only show you but so much stuff in your feed. Yeah. So I might want to go through and clean my joint up, get rid of excess. And, and sometimes well, who I will unfollow is a person that didn't post in a long time. So the person could be cool with me, yeah. but I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. his last post was 2019. I don't think he used this app no more. Whoop, mm -hmm. get him off my, off, out the algorithm. But it actually is hard for me to, uh, to, to delete people that I follow for me yeah. because I do know that people do take it serious. Y'all out there in the comments, let us know. But we did bring the wheel out. We have the wheel out and we got to get a spin. Who's going to um spin this uh, me. motherfucking wheel? Me, passionate P. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> me. Um, why, why are you trying to take the nasty girl's job? Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let Monica spin it. I bet you it's going to land on buns. Twerk act, they put twerk activities on there.
Listen, man, this been another episode of the Devil Way Show. We had passionate for it. <laughs> you know the vibe. <laughs> he was definitely the most passionate nigga in the world, you know what I mean? Shout out to L's behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? L's, get in there. L's, what you doing, L's? You know you're supposed to roll up on them L's. You know how you, know how you do L's. You know how you do L's. But um, make sure if y'all support the channel to hit that thanks button. There's your way that y'all can give right, to, you know, directly to independent channels. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all every week tuning in. You already know how we do it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I <heard laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> like somebody put a box somewhere. <laughs> Yo, we about here.